Well, as uh, Dustin mentioned a few minutes ago, the Democratic candidates are not the only ones taking on President Trump. As reporter Colin Dorsey shows us, two Republican presidential candidates are trying to convince those middle-of-the-road Republicans who aren't pleased with President Trump not to caucus for him. When you're my age, we may have three or four viable parties in this country. Those two Republicans making a last minute attempt to appeal to voters in downtown Des Moines. They're here just days after President Trump held a rally in Des Moines, which saw more than 7,000 supporters. Well, we're proudly creating jobs and killing terrorists. Congressional Democrats are consumed with partisan rage and obsessed with a deranged witch hunt hoax. Trump, according to the latest Gallup poll, holding an 88% approval rating among Republicans. To speak lightly about that, that, that still didn't keep Republican Joe Walsh from taking a verbal swing at the president. I think Donald Trump is a horrible human being. I think he lies every time he opens his mouth. I don't think he, he's capable of putting the country's interest ahead of his own. Weld, who's catering more to moderate Republicans, is questioning the president's foreign policy, claiming the U.S. needs to engage in more global trade. And I want to represent my part of the party, which uh, is, uh, does not, uh, uh, is not isolationist and doesn't believe in trillion-dollar deficits uh, and believes in engagement uh, around the world. Can they beat President Trump? It's unlikely, but they say it's worth a shot. still believe the things I believe in, but... Like seeing Donald Trump in the White House, I've kind of seen the light. We got to bring people together. 